In this video, I am going to cover how to extract numbers or text from a string in Google Sheets. In this video, I will cover six different formulas you can use for extraction. I'm going to start with some more basic ones and then move on to more complex ones. So the first function is the left function. What this does is it will return a substring from the beginning of the string according to the number of characters that you specify. So this is the syntax here. The first argument is the string, which is the string that you want to return the substring from. And then the second argument, you just designate the number of characters that you want to return from that string. Um, so this argument is optional. It's going to be set to one by default. So just to show you what happens whoops, when I use this, So it's set to one by default. So you can see it returns one character starting at the left of my string. That's all this does. So watch when I set this to two, you can see it returns two characters starting at the left of my string. When I return three, it returns three characters starting at the left of my string. Four, four characters. So you can see pretty basic it starts at the left of your string and returns how many characters you specify as the second argument here. So that is one of the most basic extraction functions. The next one I'm going to cover is right, which is the opposite of left. This does the same exact thing, but it starts on the right. So you can see now it's starting at the right. By default, it's set to one, so it's returning the first character. When I put this at two, and then I'll put three and four. So you can see, starts at the right, returns four characters, which is these four. One, two, three, four. That's what left and right do. They're opposites of each other. The next one I'm going to cover is the mid function. The mid function returns a substring from the middle of the string. And what you do is you specify the character you want to start at and how many characters to extract. So this is the syntax here. First, it's the string that you're parsing from. What character are you starting at? How many characters do you want to return? So just to show you what this looks like and then we'll do a one and a two and I'll put the rest of these formulas in here and we'll just increment them all by one so you can see this first formula I am starting at character one and I'm returning two characters. This one, I'm starting at character two, and I'm returning three characters, so it's ran. This one, we're starting at character three, and we're returning four characters. And this one, starting at character four, and returning five characters. So that is what the mid function does. The next one is the split function. What the split function does is it will take a string in a cell and put fragments of that string into different cells according to um, whatever you set as your delimiter here. So basically it splits up um, your string by this value. Um, so this is the basic syntax here. The first character is the text or the string that you're trying to split up. Um, the next argument is the delimiter, which is what are you splitting it by. And then there's the split by each. So this can either be set to true or false and set to true by default. So what this does is if, if you have um, ABC as your delimiter, by default what it's going to do is it's going to count these separate so it'll split 
them into, um, it'll basically split it around these. If you set it to false, it's going to kind of split this as one thing. So if there's anything around this, um, it, it'll keep them together. I'll show you what that is in this one, but it's kind of hard to visualize without seeing it. Um, and then the last argument is another optional one that's set to true by default. It basically just controls whether to remove empty cells from the split cells. So let's just do this so we can see what it does. So I'm gonna split this cell by R. So you can see every R that I had in here it has now split my cell by that value. Um, now we can do this, but I'm going to split it by RAN. So you can see this split it by every R, A, and N. And now we will do this, but I'm going to set this to true. And see that does the same thing because again it's set to true by default but when we change it to false it counts the ran as one delimiter instead of multiple delimiters so the this one or these two formulas it split every r a and n individually in this one, it basically counts it as one thing it's looking for and splits it by that um, total substring. So hope that makes sense. But that is what the split function does, is it will split a cell into different columns according to the delimiter that you specify. So that one is pretty useful. Now we're getting into some of the more complicated ones. Um, if you're not familiar with regular expressions, this one can be a bit to learn. So regex extract, um, this is a function used for extracting data from a substring. And what it does is it extracts um, whatever you want according to the regular expression that you specify. So this is the syntax. It's the text that you want to extract from and then you have to put in the regular expression of the part of the text that you want returned. So if you're not familiar with regular expressions, um, you're probably gonna wanna come and check out some of the help pages in Google just to see um, how to put in the values that you're looking for. Um, so they have all these different character classes. If you're doing alphanumeric, it'll be a through Z, 0 through 9. If you just want alpha, A through Z. You can do matching digits, um, 0 through 9, punctuation. They have a ton of different character classes you can put in here according to what you're trying to extract. Um, but you can see with all of this different customization on what you can extract, um, this is really powerful function for extraction. So I just have a few basic um, formulas in here so you can kind of see how it works. So this very first one, um, this first argument is the text I'm trying to extract and then this is my regular expression that I'm extracting. So I'm extracting all of the number values in this, um, in this text. So this formula just returns the numbers. Now, if you want to return all of the numbers with the decimal place, um, that is what this regular expression does. You can see it returns anything that matches this number, the decimal place, and then um, any matching numbers here. Um, what this one does is this just returns um, anything in between these parentheses here. Um, so that is something you can do with regular expressions too. Um, again, this is very powerful. It does take a while to learn. So I would just try to do a basic one like this. Um, read through Google's help pages. Um, they'll help you figure this out. But this is a very useful function.
Um, the next one I'm going to cover is kind of similar to regex extract. It's uh, regex replace. So what this does is it will take a string and it will replace anything that matches your regular expression with what you want to replace it with. So this is the syntax. It has three arguments. This is the text um, that you're extracting from. This is um, the regular expression. So anything matching this is going to get replaced with your replacement text. So in this example, um, what I have here is a regular expression on this cell. And I'm going to take any number value and replace it with 1,000. So you can see I started with 952. And I'm taking any number value in there and just replacing it with 1,000. So that's why this one comes out to 1,000. Um, this one, kind of the same thing going on. Um, I'm replacing anything, any number value with the decimal included um, to 999.99 um, because that is the last argument. So here's my regular expression. Anything in this cell that matches this, it's going to get replaced with this. And then um, this one, anything, um, any alpha alphabet value um, inside parentheses gets replaced with this value. So that's what that does. Um, again, regular expressions kind of takes a little bit to learn. I would just try some basic ones. Try extracting alpha alpha values, alphanumeric values, numeric values. Um, those are the ones you'll probably be doing the most. Um, next, I'm going to just show you um, some other formulas I have in here um, just for common extraction things that you may want to do. Um, so this one, what this does is it extracts the last name. So you can see I have this string here, these two names, John Jones, and then this formula will take this value in A2 and just extract the last word, the last name. Um, what this one does is the opposite. It extracts the first word or the first name. So you can see it's just a regex extract set up here to pull the first name. The next is a regex replace, which will take my string and just remove the punctuation. Um, so that's one that you might want to use depending on what you're trying to do in your spreadsheet. The other common tasks you may want to do, maybe you just want to extract text from a string. So we're just using a regex ex ex replace um, to extract out the alpha values. So I started with this string with these numbers around it. And by running this function, we just return all of the alpha values, getting rid of the numbers. This next one is the opposite. So I start with this same string, but I'm using um, a regular expression replace function to take out the digits, uh, the numbers, and just return the numbers from that string. Um, so that's another useful one too. If, if you want to copy these functions into your own spreadsheet to play around with them. I have put them in uh, the blog post that I'm going to paste in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out. Um, again, regular expressions seem kind of complicated at first. Um, just stay patient. They're very useful if you work with spreadsheets and you have to pull out data. Um, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions, but that's it for this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.